Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how you can use TubeBuddy, which is a tool that I personally use to grow my YouTube channel and also to come up with interesting content ideas. So I'm going to quickly log into my account to show you what the interface would look like once you purchase the plan. So once you log into your account, this is what your interface would look like. And the first thing you're going to notice is this section over here, which is where you're going to see the YouTube channels that are linked to your TubeBuddy account. So currently I have my video account linked over here so that's great uh, but if you want to do that you're gonna go to add channel section and you're gonna integrate your YouTube channel into this account you also have this tab over here which says install extension and this is like very important to me I'm gonna show you why in a bit but I highly recommend you to have an extension installed in your window so we're just gonna do that really quick add extension and we have our extension added over here so I'm just going to pin it so that way I can click over here and every time I do that I can pull up the data but essentially I'm gonna click over here and I want to come up with some new content ideas for my YouTube channel so I like to use their keyword Explorer tool and I'm going to type a keyword over here um, so when I am planning my content I have some themes and buckets around which I like to create the content and I would do some pre research based on what are the software apps that are like new in the market and people are you know looking for it and they would like to learn about it so i would have some free research based information and i would just use that information over here to validate it based on the data that tubebuddy would provide me so i'm going to search for a simple keyword over here that says how to use canva for beginners and we're going to click explore so when we do that we get an overall score section over here which says that our score is poor which is 10 on 100 um, and the analysis of the score is here so it's based on multiple factors so first thing is the search volume so as you can see the search volume is excellent meaning a lot of people are searching for these keywords on YouTube they are looking for a tutorial video on Canva then we have competition which means how good this keyword is to target for our specific channel based on the search volume competition relevancy and things like that and how i compare to the other people that are creating content around that topic so for that it's poor optimization strength indicates how well optimized the top ranking videos are for this search phrase if it's not optimized properly meaning if it doesn't have the right keywords um, in the videos and tags and things like that uh, so this is where there's a gap and you can make your video a lot more optimized you can ensure that you enter the right keywords and um, tags and things like that so you can rank better so optimization strength is excellent, meaning all the videos have been like optimized really well. And there are over 9.65 million videos for this search phrase, which basically means that, yeah, the demand is higher, but also the videos that are in the top result are quite optimized. So this overall situation equates to high demand, but also high competition. So it would be difficult for your video to rank for this search phrase. So we want to look for a keyword or like a video content where the demand is high, but also uh, the competition is low and the optimization is low as well. So that way you can take advantage of it and get your videos ranked in the top section over here, which is where you're going to get most of the videos. And the results section would show you the top videos for this keyword so we have all these videos over here you're gonna see the amount of views they have received and things like that the next thing you're gonna see is the interest over time for this search phrase on YouTube so if you take a look at the 12 month period you're gonna see that this content topic has sort of like a consistent interest it's not a seasonal topic it's something people would like to know about Canva throughout the year so that's a great thing as well and you can see the interest for this topic 
not just on YouTube, but also on Google. And when you click the topic section, a keyword explorer is going to give you some other ways you can phrase this keyword and you can come up with like content ideas and things like that around the same theme. You also have tags section, which is a great feature in my opinion. So these are the tags that you can enter in your YouTube video section, which is what's gonna help you rank even better in the search result. Now, let's say I search for a topic and it has a really good score over here. So we went for like a different topic that says LinkedIn newsletter tutorial, and it has a score of 32,100, which is fair. Again, it's not amazing, but yeah, it could be like a decent opportunity for us to try on. And I wanna add this keyword to my topic or like content planner. So you have an action section over here and I can just click add to topic planner. So that way uh, you can go back, you know, do some brainstorming, pick up some of the keywords that are like a good topic ideas for you. And you can just go back to your content planner, take a look at it and then execute those videos. You can also click optimize in SEO studio, which is a great tool for you to optimize this keyword when you are creating your title, description, tags, thumbnails and things like that and while you're doing all of that you're also going to get a tubebuddy seo score which i find it really helpful because that way i know that you know in terms of search engine optimization i'm doing like a good job because my target keyword is in all of my titles description tags so it's like fully optimized and another thing that i really like is the thumbnail feature so over here i can see what the thumbnail looks like for other people who are ranking for this keyword and over here i can see a draft of my thumbnail so you can upload that thumbnail put that here and you can kind of like compare with the other videos to make sure yours is much better so it gets better clicks and more views. I searched for the video how to use Canva and this is the first video that comes up in my feed and over here we have a little search explorer which is where you're going to see the same insights as well so that's really really helpful and let's say I want to take a look at this video over here so I'm going to click on that and on this section you're going to see the entire analytics for this specific video. So you're going to see the tags they have used, um, how optimized it is. So it has received an SEO score of 95, which is pretty awesome. Um, you're going to see details about the channel, the subscriber they have, and if they have ensured that all the best practices are adopted or not, like using high resolution thumbnail, you know, liking it on Facebook, adding chapters, adding like end screen and caption and things like that. And if you want to use these keywords in your videos, you can always like copy them. And when you are uploading the video to your YouTube channel, you can just paste these tags um, under the tag section and then that should be good to go. There are also a lot more other features that are available on TubeBuddy which is very very helpful. I highly recommend you to check it out. Keyword Explorer is like my favorite tool and I use that quite a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on TubeBuddy in the comment section below and I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then take care. Bye now.